So before we start talking about this code, I want to tell you about something that happened to me a real long time ago now. As you can tell, I'm not quite as young as most of the ClickFunnels users. I got a little bit more gray hair than most of you. And way back in 1981, I was a senior in high school, and my school was fortunate enough that they were able to get four Apple II computers. Now, this was state-of-the-art at the time, and that senior year, I was lucky I got to learn AppleSoft Basic. I also did did some programming in Fortran, also did some programming, believe it or not, this is so long ago, we were programming in hexadecimal and even binary. So I get off to college finally, and there they they started us off for some reason with the worst programming language, in my opinion, in the world, and that was Pascal. This is like writing War and Peace in Russian, and I don't speak Russian. It was just painful, and that was part of the reason I ended up getting out of the computers and getting a finance degree instead. But my third semester we got to take a course is called assembly language and in that class i finally understood how computers work how programming works and how easy the programming can be because assembly language is really a, a low level language it is so like pascal would be a high level language this is a very low level language is like right down there at the level that a computer is speaking and what i learned in that class was about how the structure of the computer works and how it comes together. So I'm in the computer lab one day, and this was back in the days, obviously this is before we had laptop computers. There were the desktops, like I said, the apples and, and things like that had just come out, but there was no way to connect them to the school computer. So you had to spend all of your time in the computer lab hacking out your code right there. And so I'm, I'm, I'm through with my assembly language assignment, and I'm working on my Pascal and a girl from the class comes up and she says, Hey, um, our, our, I'm having trouble with my assembly uh, assignment. And, and you, you know, can I see what you did? And I, I pick up my piece of paper and I show it to her and it's half a piece of paper. It was like 20 lines of code total on one sheet of paper. And she just looks at it. And she goes, um, yeah, I don't like the way you did that. And I said, okay, fine. Show me yours. And she steps back and she, this was back in the days of dot matrix printers and so all the paper was connected together she seriously stands back and holds it up and drops open as like five or six pages of paper just roll out it's like 200 lines of code and i just looked at her and i said i can't help you how am i supposed to take what you did in 200 lines of code, I did it in 20. How am I supposed to help you? So I'm very proud of what I did. I go and uh, the next Monday I hand it in to the teacher and comes Wednesday for class and she hands it back and there's a big red F on it. And I am just fit to be tied because I know this code works. And I said to her, did you run the program? And she says, no, I don't have to. I know it won't work. And I said, very calmly, I said, please run the program. Friday comes back. She hands the paper back to me, big A plus on it. And I was a teacher's pet from that point forward because she realized that I understood how the architecture of a computer works. And here it is in a nutshell. Computers are nothing but a series of boxes. Think of this, thousands and thousands and millions and billions of boxes. Think of like it's Imelda Marcos's closet and it's full of thousands and thousands of shoes. You've seen them all, the little wooden racks with all the little cubbies in it. That's how a computer works. Now there's going to be data in some of those. There's going to be computer code in others. And there's going to be other special boxes, boxes over here that are like, if you put something in there, it'll display to the screen. Or if you put something in there, it'll be sent off to the printer. So how it works is, so let's say we got a piece of data here. We're going to pull it out of this box. We're going to do something to it, and then we're going to put it somewhere else. We're going to pull something out. We're going to do something to it, and we're going to put it somewhere else. So now let's take a look at this code. We have here a lesson link. What it says is go out and find all of the boxes that are labeled with a lesson link. So let's say we got six boxes here, all labeled with a lesson link. Well, it also says then go through them one by one, pull them out, take a look at them. And if it also says 
active member nav on it that's the box we're looking for so go through all of the a lesson link find the one that says active member nav that's the one we're looking for but we don't want that one we want the next one below it so take the next one out below it go over here put it into that special box that says display to the screen so we find all the a lesson links we pull out active member we don't want that one let's grab the one below it the next one send it off to be displayed to the screen so whether you're programming yourself or if you're talking to somebody who's going to do some coding for you just think of it in those terms think some think about what you have what you want it to do and then at the end where do you want it to go to what do you have for data for content what do you have existing over here what do you want it to do in the middle and where do you want it to go at the end? If you think in those terms, I think you're going to have a real good time either programming yourself or being able to work with a developer to be able to get done the functionality that you want put into your ClickFunnels account. So now the next thing we want to talk about is this.